Sagittarius. Welcome to your Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your June 2018 monthly general reading. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Those of you that have not yet subscribed, Sagittarius, please click the pink subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. For your reading, guys, I am using the Universal Tarot. Oops, sorry. And I'm also be pulling you a Romance Angels card and the Secret Language of Animals Oracle cards. Amazing deck. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. As a reminder, Sag, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, please watch your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, the Instant Go app, all the links that you guys need or want to get to right below the video in the description box. All of my Sagittarius subscribers, June 2018, what do they need to know? Those of you that are new, I do the Celtic Cross spread for the monthlies. Okay, your first card, your central issue coming into the month is the Four of Swords. Crossed by the Six of Wands. Your foundation, nice, the Ace of Pentacles. Recent past. Very nice, Edge. The sun. Crowning you. The chariot. Right after the sun. That's a lot of success with the six of wands. Two of pentacles. Moving into the second half of the month. See yourself as the Page of Pentacles. In your environment and how people see you, the Magician. Your hopes and fears, the King of Wands. And you're leaving the month with the energy of the world. Oh, this is very nice, Sag. It's very, very nice. Okay. Your overall energy for the entire month. The Nine of Cups. Emotional abundance, happiness, wish fulfillment. Beautiful overall energy. I mean, just really happy emotionally in a really good place. With the Four of Swords, I feel like, you know, definitely some of you could be traveling, definitely. But I feel like you're, you know, you're healing from something. You could be recovering, healing, maybe just even taking a break, going on vacation. It's also a patient energy, you know, with the Six of Wands crossing it. You know, this is feeling confident, proud of yourself, successful, getting recognized. I definitely f feel like a lot of you are moving toward some kind of victory here right at the start of the month. You're still waiting on this, but this is absolutely where you're moving towards. And you do have a few cards here that tell me you're headed towards success, victory, so if you have, you know, if, if you find yourself being patient and waiting for something at the start of the month, guys, it is absolutely on its way. In your foundation, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This could be the start of a new job, promotion, a new home. 
But this is also a solid, stable, grounded new beginning. A new, a new beginning that you're going to value very much. Uh, financial abundance, security, stability. This could be, some of you definitely moving towards this. You could be in the very early stages of this, but you're definitely beginning to manifest this new beginning prior in your life. Because this this being in your foundation is, you know, what brings you to this, this current energy. But you also, in the recent past, have the sun. So this is, again, happiness, contentment. Some of, you know, the sun highlights things as well. Some of you could have found something out. For others, this could have been some sort of success that's already come to you. You know, with the sun, the six of wands, you know, this is a, this is a powerful, um, Like this is the, this combination. Some of you definitely could be in the spotlight some way, or will be very soon. But definitely feeling very enthusiastic, confident, and then crowning you. You have the chariot. This is the ultimate victory and success card. Feeling confident, in control, victorious. And again, some of you absolutely could be going on vacation. The chariot being in this position. Some of you definitely could have a big decision that you need to make. You could definitely be in a position where you have two different paths that you could start down. But no matter what, guys, you are going to be successful. Coming up around the second half of the month, the Two of Pentacles, and this absolutely could represent a decision. You know, you could de you could be going back and forth, weighing your options, the pros and the cons regarding this decision. I just feel like some of you are completely not sure. You know, and I noticed, you know, you do have the King of Wands here. You have Leo, Cancer, and the Queen of Cups is under this too. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, de some of you definitely are not completely sure around this time, but definitely in the process of making a decision with the Four of Swords, you could definitely be spending time by yourself, thinking, meditating on this decision. And how you see yourself, you have the Page of Pentacles. So for some of you, definitely, there could be a financial offer, opportunity that's coming in for you good news or an opportunity on the financial front. And I feel like whatever this news is that's coming in for you, it does allow for you to be able to manifest and be able to move forward in some way. Because in the position of how um, in your environment and how other, you know, and how people are, are viewing you as the magician, this is you know, again, successful. They're, you know, people are absolutely viewing you as successful, especially, especially with the chariot crowning you. Now the magician, you're being viewed as someone who is very creative and is making things happen. For some of you, this will absolutely be regarding your career, very creative here. For those of you that are trying to grow or start your own business, move up within the company that you work for in some way within your career, this definitely could be a lot of success here coming your way.
and your hopes and fears. You have the King of Wands. You know, for this definitely could be your energy. Passionate, a go-getter. This is Aries, Leo, Sag, making things happen. Very creative, outgoing, ambitious. And I feel like that's exactly what the majority of you are hoping for. Is to be able to manifest your wishes, your dreams, your desires, whatever it is that you're passionate about. And you most definitely are. You're leaving June going into July with the energy of the world. This is you completing one chapter of your life. Moving on to the next chapter. Very blessed energy. Like you've made it with, with the world card. You've made it successfully. It definitely took some time. It was definitely a process. You know, this could have taken many years. But you've made it and you're moving forward. With that being said, some of you, the next chapter that you're starting here could be that really you're moving to a new home. Traveling across the globe because travel, there's a lot of travel energy here too. A lot of cards here. Those of you that are moving far away, it could be to a place where it's you know, very warm, sunny, beautiful weather all year round. I don't really feel the need to clarify anything. But I am going to look at the Four of Swords for you guys with the distant past. Four of Swords for Sag. So we have the Five of Coins, Five of Pentacles, the Tower, Sign of Scorpio, and the Hierophant, Sign of Taurus. But that doesn't really, forget signs. With the Tower, again, this definitely could be a significant life change. Definitely, you could be moving to a new house. You dealt with some challenges when it came to this. And I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, you were a little short on cash. You, 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 you fell a little bit short with having all the money. For others of you, something significant, dramatic could have happened. This could have been a shake-up. And it could have happened very, very suddenly. This could have even been a loss of a job or a loss of a relationship even with the Hierophant. It does speak about committed partnerships, relationships, marriages. You know, something happened here that could have been a big awakening. You know, even with the Sun card, you know, you realizing something that was lacking and with this energy just taking some downtime needing to figure out if this is you know a relationship matter taking time to make a decision but again guys you, you know you're the one that's in the driver's seat you're the one that's making the decision or maybe another fire sign You, you could go whatever way you want. You know, this is what led up to this. You're focused on a new beginning, definitely, for the majority of you, whether it's relationship or job-related. That's what your focus is on. One of the two. Pick one. 
This will give us additional guidance, clarification. Okay, this card literally just flipped up for you guys and that could not resonate more. Wow. Some of you guys are definitely realizing something. Romance Angels. Okay, so lizard, dreaming, sight, knowledge, and hidden gifts. Like I said, definitely some of you could have absolutely learned something here. Could have found something out, something was highlighted. Some of you definitely have already learned something found something out definitely if not you will be very soon some of you definitely could have spiritual messages it could be coming to you some of you could have psychic awareness growing spiritually some of you could even have this gift and not even know it some of you are manifesting something that you've been desiring very much. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Those of you that are already in a relationship, you're not breaking up, you know, have fun with your partner is what this card is all about. You know, even even if you did go through some some turbulence prior, you know, if you want to heal that relationship, you're you're gonna have to have some fun, go out, socialize, flirt with your partner. Those of you that are single and want to meet someone, same thing, go out, you know, have fun, be social. Definitely. Energy is there for that, definitely. Whatever you decide to do this month, guys, there's a lot of success around you. Being noticed, definitely. Love it. Very nice reading, guys. I hope it helps you guys out for the week, the month, sorry. If not, definitely, you know, please watch your other signs. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Have a beautiful month, and I will see you guys back here soon. Take care. Bye.